Hi guys, this is just a quick video to tell you that I'm recording sound separately from the camera for the first time ever. Um, I'm using a Zoom H4n and uh, I'm using a Canon 70D to film the, the, the video. So, I bought the Zoom. It was about £180. Um, I think it's a good piece of kit. I think it works very well with people filming on DSLRs because we all know filming on DSLRs that the, the audio is very tinny um, and it doesn't make for great viewing when watching videos. Most of our videos, in fact all of our Take the Cake videos have been recorded through apps on iPhones. We In our last sketch we used we used the Rode, uh, yeah, it was the Rode app. Uh, we recorded all the audio from the from the app, and then I synced it up in post. Um, when I when I first got the camera, I used audio from the camera um, in one sketch, and it it's um, they say that audio is eighty percent of of your final video anyway. Um, but the sound quality from the from the DSLR is isn't is not good for for what I want to do. So I invested in separate sound. And the great thing about the Zoom H4n is you can you can plug in quite a, a couple of different uh, microphones. It's got built-in phantom power, um, and it's uh, a good piece of kit. It's quite durable. You can drop it, and I think it still works. Um, so yeah, so I'm basically, I've got them, got them set up separately at the moment, but what you can do is, uh, there's a good option, you can get a splitter, uh, to plug your earphones, uh, and, uh, one lead going into your, your, your DSLR. Uh, the thing about the 70D is it doesn't have, uh, and out for the earphones but with the H4n you can you can get just a splitter you can get them from I think you can get it from their website and basically you can record the audio from the zoom that goes straight into the footage on your your DSLR and you can also listen to it through through earphones to make sure that the audio quality is is at the right levels and stuff so I think they both work very well together um I'll do a test right now. This this right here is the sound quality you're getting from the DSLR. And as you can tell it's very tinny. Um there's no there's no bass at all and it's it's not a nice sound. It's not bad, um, but it's for you know for doing um video um it's it needs to be better. Um so and now we switch back to the H4n and you can tell there's an instant improvement on on the on the, the sound that, that you get from the D DSLR. So I think to anyone out there that are buying DSLRs, invest in recording your sound separately. Um the great thing about the the H4n is you can you can do quite a lot with it. You can hook up quite a couple of different mics and you can also it's great for doing for boom work you can just get um you can get like a microphone um roads do some good microphones um you can you can get a boom mic um you can get all your windshields and you you can get a pole boom pole and then you can connect straight up to the zoom and you can get a little clip and and the zoom can clip on to your jeans or whatever you're wearing at the time and uh and and whoever's doing your sound can basically just have his his uh his boom and 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 have it all go into the H4n and the great thing is they that it comes straight off a, an SD card um and I think that's that's very good because I do all the editing on a MacBook Pro and I've got a nice SD reader built in so what my setup works for me um Obviously, everyone has different setups, but the H4n, the DSLR, and the Mac work very well together. Um, the audio 
and the video goes straight onto SD cards and you're straight into Final Cut and and I think it's brilliant so that's my setup hope you've enjoyed the video if there's any questions please feel free to message me either through Take the Cake Productions or message me on my personal YouTube account thank you for watching and I will see you all soon thank you